Last year, the Department of Toxic Substances Control's Safer Consumer Products Regulation went into effect. This year, the department is announcing its draft initial priority products list. What these regulations allow us to do is ask the question, are these chemicals necessary in the products that they're used in? The Department of Toxic Substances Control believes fundamental questions should be asked about the combinations of chemicals used in California's products. Well, there are so many parties with an interest, everything from mothers and shoppers who care about the products they buy and are bewildered when they read a complicated label to the manufacturers who want to sell their products. The draft initial priority products list is the next phase of the regulation. DTSC believes this initial list identifies product chemical combinations that can potentially pose a substantial threat to human health and the environment. If it's a product that's only used in a very special application or not widely distributed, it, we're not nearly as concerned as a product that's in wide use. Two key principles must be present in each priority product. There must be a possibility of exposure to the chemicals and there must be potential for significant or widespread adverse impacts causing a health problem, an environmental problem, a safety problem, for instance. Is it a carcinogen? Is it a respiratory problem? Is it something that impacts some of our threatened and endangered species? We look at all of these things. We look at the market conditions to understand how the product's really being used. DTSC believes removing harmful toxics from products is good for business, and some of the country's largest companies agree. Walmart last fall announced that they were going to eliminate 10 hazardous chemicals from all the products they sell in their stores. They've recognized that this is a problem. Consumers are asking more and more frequently to find out what's in the products that they use. What are, what are the chemicals that they're being exposed to? And the market is responding to that. The announcement of the draft initial priority products list represents a proactive and science-based shift in the way Californians and the environment are protected from potential toxins. Harm. This is not a ban. This is the beginning of a process to really make sure that we've selected the right products and that we want to go ahead with what we call rulemaking to begin to regulate those products.